How's it going, everybody? Chris Rewayne with nstuffmusic.com, and today we're doing a review of the Ernie Ball Music Man Stingray 4 HH. Space really doesn't need an introduction, so uh, let's just get right to it. Uh, it was it came out in the mid '70s, and it's been cranking out hits ever since. It's a very versatile bass, very solid built, with the dual humbuckers and the active EQ. Um, you get multiple tones, and whatever you need to get out of this bass, you can certainly make that happen. Uh, let's go right to the features of this bad boy. Body's made out of select hardwood. The bridge is a Music Man bridge with stainless steel saddles. We have Music Man designed humbucking pickups with Alnico magnets. Uh, we also have a three band active EQ, which I'll get to in a second. Uh, a five way selector switch for the pickups. I'll get to that in another second. And also a volume knob for the volume on the bass. Uh, on the back of the body, there is a control cavity plate. Uh, there's a separate compartment for the nine volt, which powers the active EQ. And there's also a six bolt neck plate. Uh, onto the neck, the neck is made out of maple. We have a rosewood fretboard with dot inlays. Uh, there's shallower tuners on the back and a matching headstock in silver sparkle. So uh, let's get right to some of the sounds. At the beginning of the video, what you heard was the back humbucker, both coils running, and all of the EQs flat. So we're gonna go to the second position. Uh, the way this five selector switch works is uh, the first selection is both coils on the back humbucker. The second position is the outside coils. Third position is both humbuckers. Fourth position is the inside coils. And the fifth position is just the neck humbucker. So uh, let's do the second position, which activates the outside coils on both pickups. <laughs> Middle position, that is both humbuckers and both coils activated. Fourth position, that activates the inside coils of each humbucker. And finally, the fifth position, that is the neck humbucker with both coils activated. All right, let's get into the active EQ. Um, we have three knobs that control that. This is the treble knob, this is the mid knob, and this is the bass knob. Each of these three knobs have detents in them. And what that does is it indicates, uh, there's a little notch on each one of these that indicates when the EQ is set to a flat position. Uh, so let's start with the bass knob, and we're gonna use the back humbucker for this demonstration. We're gonna start with the bass knob all the way up. I'll give you a few examples of how that sounds. all the way down and see how that sounds. All right, we're going to go to the mid sweep and that's going to bring the mids all the way up. Try a couple samples of that. And we're going to roll the mids all the way back. You can hear what that sounds like. And 
and onto the treble control. We're going to try that all the way up and we'll see how that sounds. <laughs> treble all the way back see how that sounds Thanks for watching everybody. I am Chris Ruane and that was the Music Man Stingray 4HH. This is available at End Stuff Music along with multiple other Stingrays and uh, other Music Man products. You can drop us an email, give us a call and we'll certainly hook you up with one of these if your heart so desires. Again, thanks for stopping by today and we always appreciate the feedback and the comments and uh, keep watching endstuffmusic.com for more reviews and uh, more product. Thanks a bunch and have a good day.